out all right you guys welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm gonna be doing is I want to start talking to you guys about something called fragments now a fragment is actually one of the most important parts of Android app development because what it is is essentially it's part of your activity that you can reuse over and over and over again really easily so say that you have this app and it has I don't know maybe 20 different activities 20 different screens and you want to create a menu for each one so the user can navigate around a little bit easier well if you want to do that then what you can do is go in each class and create all the code for the menu home oh, mg this is gonna take forever or what you can do is you can create this thing called a fragment which is pretty much this bit of code that is reusable so that way once you have the fragment created you can just stick it inside every class and you're good to go and also the benefit of that is say that I don't know maybe you wanted to change the color of that menu well if you just did it the old-fashioned way then you would say okay let me go back to every class and change the color of it however whenever you design a fragment then what you can do is you can only change the color in one location and then it's going to automatically update across all activities that you used it on pretty stinking sweet so again an activity or excuse me a fragment is pretty much part of your activity that's reusable and you can also have multiple fragments on the same activity so for example if you want to have a menu on every screen and I don't know maybe you're making like a social networking app and you want to allow the user to upload an image from a bunch of different activities then you can have that fragment on there too so just remember that you can have multiple fragments on any activity and actually in this tutorial what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really simple meme generator so you know I know I myself really hate memes because they're kind of annoying and they're all over the place but for this example it's really easy to demonstrate because I'm going to be having a single activity one screen and it's going to have two fragments on it the top fragment is going to be where you type in the text and then click the button and the bottom fragment is pretty much going to be the meme so it's going to be a picture and then it's going to have the white text on it so again the top fragment is where you type it in the bottom fragment is going to be the picture or the meme so okay that was a lot of explaining so now let's go ahead and get started so the very first thing we need for a meme generator is of course some picture to memeify so in order to be able to add pictures to your application go over here to Android and choose project view right here now expand this oh and by the way I probably should mention I created a brand new project and I just chose blank activity so that's where I'm at right here so this is a brand new project as you guys could see I named it meme creator but name it whatever you want so once you're here again go to project view and expand this and expand app now inside source right here you're gonna see a folder called main so expand that and also expand this res folder so let me show you guys alright so inside here we're gonna see a bunch of different folders and the one we're just worried about right here is drawable so for now I know I didn't really talk to you guys about adding images to your app but we can add an image in here and that way we can use images in our app so again I'll talk about this all in detail later on again this is a fragment tutorial I just wanna you know have a picture in there real quick and someone's texting me for some reason I think people like wait outside my house and they look in my windows to see when I'm making a tutorial and then everyone just starts texting me that's what it seems like but of course for your image what you can do is you can actually just go online and get any square picture that you want but I'm using one from my website it's my profile picture I'll show you guys what it is so there it is if you want this actually if you click the link below it says my profile then it has a link to it in the YouTube description then you can just download this as well but anyways once you have any square image then take it and drag it in to that drawable folder and then say okay do you want to move this file into your project okay I indeed do 
and it says okay these files do not belong to the project the heck they don't well they do now sucka okay and check it out so I now have that Bucky image or square image in my Drawable folder so once I have that taken care of I can switch back to Android and of course check it out so let me just position this a little bit better all right there we go 